This is a data logger. It compiles information on depth, temperature, and light levels and stores it. And I do a retrospective three-dimensional analysis on what the shark did. So there's advantages to this in that I'm getting depth information. Shark we got a shark, guys. We got a shark out by the buoy. This is really good news. Our sustainability efforts are just really practical. You know, we want to support solid economic growth. We want to make sure there's fish for our kids in the future. And you can do that if you're smart and you collect the data and you just manage things from a, a data-driven first perspective. Spot tag, accelerometer next. All right, we got the accelerometers going on now. Okay, we're good, we're good. No matter what brand you're working with, you're always looking for one that has that disposition that we can always get better. When we were able to put some new Caterpillar equipment in our engine room, our emissions plummeted, our capacity moved forward. So when we're looking at coming out here to try to do something great for the ocean on a science standpoint, we also want to at least be conscious of trying to do it in the most efficient way we can. To have this kind of engagement for marine engines, I think that it sends a strong message to the commercial market, the support that we have for, for this type of thing on the oceans, and just to, to be involved overall with communities, the ocean, and things that are happening around the world. We want the public to, to understand that this is for them. We want them to feel like they're a part of it and they understand what's going on as it goes on, along with fundamentally closing massive knowledge gaps so we have new data to make sure that region has a greater capacity to protect its public as well as to manage the future of their sharks.